we have to have a serious talk, a real serious talk about this one. This is a jet, jet JS four hundred. S style guitar, obviously S style. And we have to have a serious talk about how this is even possible. I don't know how this is possible for that price. This one came to my attention through different YouTube tests, YouTube videos. I saw it online and it got my interest in all the specs, so I ordered it at Musikhaus Korn in Germany for below 200 euro. I think it was like 170 euro, like this, shipped to my door. And now you are telling me how this is even possible because this guitar really is absolutely stunning and not only for the price but because of the price yes for sure but not only because of the price it is simply stunning unbelievable really because it's obviously a kind of strategy guitar Looks like a strut. Sounds kinda like a strut. And on top, it's absolutely, absolutely flawless. I have a lot of guitars in my home. But despite all the Ibanez, BRS, whatever I've got inside here, Epiphone. This one is unbelievable quality. Look at that neck. I hope you can see it there. Just look at that neck. Very beautiful roasted maple neck according to their specs. Maple fretboard. The frets, I don't know if you can see it here, the frets are absolutely, and I mean really absolutely, perfect, perfectly leveled, no dead spots, no high spots, the fret edges, I don't even feel there are any fret edges, there's literally nothing, absolutely smooth absolutely perfect the trim system it kind of look kind of look like uh, Wilkinson maybe it's the Wilkinson rebranded I don't know it has the same saddles as any regular vintage Fender Stadt then it says Fender stamped in here it's branded like I think it's called I can't really see it M MWB or something like that looks like Wilkinson rebrand even hope you can see it full size big trim block and that's, remember, for under 200 euro, 170 euro. Really, really, I don't know how they are doing it. This is simply unbelievable. The finish is flawless. 
Nothing bad on that finish. Look at the neck joint. Very clever, comfortable neck joint. Yeah, so you can really grab around. So and the neck itself. I think you cannot really see it, but let me tell you. Up here, right up here, up here, yes. Up here, it's like a modern C, Fender, Strat, Neck. Modern C profile. But, as you move up the neck, like, starting around here, it's merging into a kind of D-shape. And the shoulders are widening. So it's getting really, well, how to say, really mm, chunky, I would say. Really big and chunky. Smaller, more small, and now it gets real white, big, and chunky. So if you are playing leads in the higher register, You really have to grab something. You really have something to hold on. Yeah, so really, really filling my hand out, so to say. The pickups. They're not bad. Pickups are some kind of ceramic pickups, for what I know. And this one, on the bridge, I just measured it, comes in a little bit above 14k. So it's obviously on the hot side. And on contrary, the middle and neck pickups. They are more on the vintage side. They measure like, I think, 5.2, 5.4k. Alright, so. Five way switch. Humbucker, humbucker middle, middle, middle neck, neck. Nothing fancy here. And. So depending on what you like on sound, I think they really sound very fine. So, if you're talking about sounding really fine, they sound really fine. This is kind of clean sound. Let me off the mic. So, it has a very nice S-type clean sound, definitely in the range of S-type. So, depending on what you like, you can change out pickups very easily. You like more vintage, you do it like that. You like more hot, you do it like that. But these pickups, I think they really rock. So let me show you. Let me off the mic again.
Sing this one to rock. And <laughs> and it came out of the box. Factory setup just absolutely perfect. I don't know if it's always the case, but with that guitar. It definitely is. Obviously it got a setup. I don't know if Music House Corn did it. Because down to the last 46, 60, sorry, 64 of an inch, everything was set up perfectly. Neck, string action. All I did, I changed the strings from 9 to 42 I think, I changed from 9 to 46 and that's it I didn't do anything else ok I leveled the pickups a little bit to my liking but that was definitely all absolutely perfect right out of the box so I ask you again how do they do it? Look. Oh, and finally, let's just talk about the tram. The tram, yes, this one made me send back some PIS, squires, whatever, chord duality last time. I sent them back because, for the heck of it, I didn't get them hold. The tuning, this one right out of the box. <laughs> tuning perfect just perfect Remember, 170 euro. Unbelievable. I'm impressed and I nearly forgot this. This is not plastic. This is a real bone nut. At least according to the specs, but I have no doubt to believe it and if I see how well it holds tune I will believe it's a real bone nut cut perfectly by the way but 